Yes, you know the vibes, man. It's DB215. I'm back with another one to let you know where I'm coming from. Please do not be fooled. That was not random men that jumped on 6ix9ine at the gym. They was all there together at the same damn time. But they went in the bathroom, the locker room, to jump on them. And you know who those three or four men was? They was his bodyguards. They was all out of shape. It only sound like one dude that could have been skinny, and that was the one talking about some, I'm a fan. He was trying to cover it up. They was being slick. They staged this ass whooping because they was not paid. Trust me. They was not paid to protect him. They are paid to protect this fucking goofball rocking colorful wigs. They supposed to get paid. They didn't get paid for some reason. I ain't saying the boy broke. He could be. I don't know. The fuck? This nigga, if he's that rich, he should have a gym in his crib. But he don't. He don't. He had LA Fitness. Trying to do what? Get some clout? Listen, I'll tell you like this. On everything, his life has changed dramatically. He won't be nowhere with no security. That's talk. That sounds good. And the only reason he lasts this long is because he's Spanish. I already went over this with y'all. When they be talking about kill rats, they ain't talking about all races. They be talking about niggas. I'm telling you. Ain't no nigga gonna last that long. Niggas will shoot at cops to get the nigga. But he's Spanish. Nobody takes him serious. That's why he lasted this long. So, in case you ain't know, now you know. Life has changed for him. You know what I mean? Them shows ain't clicking. Them streams ain't fucking going up. And them views is dropped. They at the same height that they was when he was like, popping they ain't going up his instagram page is probably the only thing sending them a check or some shit like that or oh i don't know i just know that boy ain't loaded as he loaded as he once was and he's still trying to live and keep up with all the other celebrities and it ain't working obviously it ain't working and he can't tell on his security that looks crazy like you can't trust your own security that's because you didn't pay him so they whooped that ass and they was talking to him that's how you know that they know who he is personally they was talking to him while they was whooping his ass and it was all out of shape them niggas should have been in the gym getting in shape but they whooping on him nah that was staged come on now they knew they was gonna do that it's gonna come out he can't snitch. Shit. They probably, he probably owe him so much money, they probably wanted to kill him. But they can't. Because then he really gonna go to jail. So it's like, let me just, let's just whoop his ass. Let's just whoop his ass. In this locker room. And put it on camera so we can embarrass him. Yeah, it was to embarrass him. And they was mad, of course, that they ain't get their money. So, with that being said, do you know the vibes? Throw up the sign, I shall arrive. You understand me? That's why I make these videos because people who don't understand and can't read between the lines and depict and decipher what's really going on out here, they can't stand me. You feel me? Why would I come on a platform like this and not give you the real me? When people who just can't figure out things and read between the lines and add up and make it make sense, it's filthy. You feel me? I tell my haters hurt and die, bitch. Take it too long. Blah.